All right, so everybody knows that the 4850 is probably one of the most popular video cards in the market. It's at the right price point, it's got the right amount of performance, it's perfect for most people's monitors, and it plays just about any single game on the market that you want it to play. But now you have a new one to consider. Check this out. This is the XFX HD 4850, and XFX does make ATI video cards. They just started doing that just recently, like last week, so uh, don't be freaking out. They didn't stop making NVIDIA video cards, but they do now make ATI Radeon video cards as well, and for very good reason. They're doing extremely well right now on the market. Uh, pretty much they're outperforming uh, some of the uh, SLI cards and NVIDIA cards you know, at the same price point. So why would you pay for NVIDIA when you can have uh, ATI? So check this card out, the 4850. Now, uh, the 4850 is in between the 4830 and the 4870. So when the 4850 first came out, we were kind of like, what is it? Now we know exactly what it is. Let me go over the specs with you to give you a general idea of the hardware that is inside this card because it's a lot of good stuff. Now, first of all, this is the RV770 GPU that's on there. Uh, so it's the same one that's in the 4870. It's very fast. It's just clocked a little slower. Uh, so let's talk about that first. GPU core clock on this is 625 megahertz. Uh, to give you an idea, uh, the 4870 is at 750 and the 4830 is at 575, so you're right in the middle. 50, 50, and 50. It increases by 50 each time. You also have 800 stream processors, which are also clocked at 625 megahertz. Um, you get uh, 512 megabytes of GDDR3, which is extremely fast. It's on a 256-bit interface, and that's clocked at uh, 1986 megahertz, which is about 1943. Uh, regular, and then since it's DDR3, it's double pumped, so you have to multiply that by two and you get 1986. Uh, you also get 16 ROPs, uh, and you also get 40 texturing units. Uh, so there's a lot of good hardware on the 4850. It's very powerful, and uh, it's very good for pretty much anything that you want to do. Uh, as far as games that are out there that go, if you want to play some Call of Duty 4, some Unreal Tournament 3, uh, World at War, Brothers in Arms, uh, even some Crisis, some Crisis Warhead, uh, Far Cry 2, Fallout 3, all the newest, latest, greatest games are all going to play on here with absolutely no problem. Depending on your monitor size, we'll tell you what settings you might have to go to, but even on Crisis, uh, on a pretty good sized a uh, 22-inch monitor, you shouldn't have problems on medium settings uh, as long as you don't turn on the filters, and that's very, very good. It doesn't sound like it's that great because medium, oh, medium's not that good. It's really good. Crisis is really hard to play on most computers, and it's still going to look really awesome no matter what. So uh, let me take you for a quick, brief tour on the card. First of all, you're going to notice it's a little bit different. It's not that typical uh, round with the flat back, with the round over here. It's all square. Uh, it does say XFX on it. It's very simple, very plain. Another thing that's very plain and simple about it is the power. You will enjoy that. Take a look at the power. It's only one six-pin PCI Express connector. You're not going to need to have a four or an eight or anything else or any ridiculous uh, connections. One six-pin. Uh, you can run this off a 500-watt power supply. If it's good quality, no problem. If you have one of those uh, cheesier, generic, Chinese-made ones, you might want to get a 600 just in case, but you're definitely not going to have a problem. I run one of these off of, of a really good quality 450, no problem. Uh, also, on the other end of your notice, those red DVIs are very, very cool looking, uh, and that back is a little bit black. It's a, uh, it's definitely very cool looking. It's like a shadow chrome back, so it's going to look real cool if you have a nice case. You have that S-Video in the middle right there. That's for your breakaway cable, which I will show you in a moment. That's a 7-pin S-Video cable. It's digital. Uh, these will do 2560 by 1600 maximum resolution, so you could even run two 30-inch monitors off this one video card. Now, as far as interface goes, you guessed it. PCI Express 2.0, X16 length and electrically running, so uh, make sure you have the right slot. If you don't have PCI Express 2.0, it will run in PCI Express as long as it's X16, and uh, you won't lose any performance. You get a dual link. Uh, DVIs that are on here also. You can do Crossfire, which is also very important. Uh, so if you want to run these with any other 4800 series cards, you can, and you'll get multi-GPU scaling. And you'll get some really nice imp uh, improvements in performance. Uh, also, it's really important is that you get HDCP. HDCP is uh, High Bandwidth Digital Content Protection. Uh, some people just shorten it and say High Definition Content Protection, and that's exactly what it does. It protects your high def, your Blu-rays, your HD DVDs, uh, or any content you download off the web. It protects it from being stolen or pirated. So what happens is if you have a nice HDTV and you want to stream one of these high def movies to it, you can't do it just by plugging the cable from the computer to the television. It's not going to work. You need HDCP. This has it, so you will be able to do it. It's also got another great uh, technology called UVD 2.0, which is Universal Video Decoder uh, version 2, and that's really incredible because that lets you get an SPDIF lead cable, plug it into your video card, and you instantly have 7.1 
HD lossless audio through the HDMI cable and that can go either to your television or it can go to your receiver no problem and uh, give you that amazing sound you actually don't even have to have a, a, a sound card if it's going to a receiver because that's going to be doing the processing for you and it's sending lossless digital audio through that HDMI cable uh, so that's very very awesome now also as far as games go DirectX 10.1 uh, is on here uh, it utilizes Shader Model 4.1 and OpenGL 2.1 as well uh, which is very important that's going to let you support a Vivo uh, as well as some of the stuff that's going to be coming up with parallel graphics processing, physics, uh, stuff like NVIDIA's CUDA uh, is going to get ported eventually to run on these ATI cards and that will allow you to do stuff like that. Uh, so the 4850 is a fantastic card in Crossfire. It's one of the best bang for buck uh, for a large monitor performance setup. If you want to get a couple of these and run them in Crossfire X, you're going to get some incredible performance. If you want to get more information, you can run to a computer TV, go to the forums, uh, or look for other videos on how to choose a video card. There's a lot of information on our forums though, uh, which is great. And uh, if uh, worse comes to worse and you really need to ask me a question, email me here. And that's it. Goodbye. <laughs> For more information on the XFX Radeon HD 4850 graphics card, type in P450-4850 into the search engine of any of these major retailers. For Computer TV, I'm Albert.